From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are Drs. Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Welcome to Jack Van Impey Presents. I trust that you are enjoying this wonderful summer. It's been great, even though it's been a little bit cool here for us. It's been warm, warm in other places. We need to praise the Lord for every single good day that He gives to us and be grateful for every blessing. Well, we are going to be discussing some very, very serious things today. And among them will be, can Russia be trusted? Oh, why Israel? is very nervous. And Russia and Iran to hold naval maneuvers. Uh, that is a very, very serious situation also, and we will be discussing that in just a moment. But I just want to say something about the preparation of the program. You know, Jack reads about 100 periodicals every single week. He's a speed reader, believe me. And then he reads one book a day, and uh, it just puts so much preparation into the programs, and that's why they're so relevant to all of our lives. We get all of these news articles from around the world every single day here at the headquarters. Dr. Ironside, 80 years ago, said when we have the new world order headed up by the European Union and other groups coming together, it will be a socialist government that will finally control the world, and socialism is the first step before Marxism and then finally communism. Israel, they were taken captive in 586 BC. They have not been in their own nation until May 14, 1948. They didn't have a nation for 2,534 years. And when you study Ezekiel chapter 37, verses one and two, it talks about that old spiritual, them bones, them bones, them dry bones, them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Oh, be careful. Hang on. I'll soon have that recorded for you. <laughs> I promise you I won't. But that spiritual represents what would happen to the Jew. They were in the graveyards of the world, the nations being held bondage, and they are called the bones. Look at verse 11. The bones are the whole house of Israel. And verse 12 says they come up out of the graves, out of the nations of the world, and come to their own land. And since 48, they call themselves once again Israel. And I got news for you, Isaiah 56, 5. God, Yahweh in heaven says, I will give Israel, an everlasting name. They're there to stay forever and nobody's going to get them out of there and nobody's going to get them out of Jerusalem. And I pray the old Netanyahu will take his stand as he's being pressured right now. Mm, well, he seems to be. Yeah. He says no to the president. And we'll be talking about that much, much more just a little bit later. Let's take a look at this. Obama tries to reset relations with Russia. Now there is Medvedev. And Obama, it's a start, he says. Well, we will see. Do you think that we are headed toward a new world order right now, Jack? First of all, Revelation 17.10 tells us there will only be seven world empires in history. Let me quote it. There are seven kings. Five are fallen. One is and one is yet to come. The five that were fallen when this text was written happened to be Assyria, Egypt, Babylon, Medo-Persia, and of course, Greece. The one that was at that time, Rome. The one that is yet to come, the revived Roman Empire, which is today's European Union. And you know, the leader is going to come out of this grouping of nations and they say eventually it will become a worldwide organization 
because the Club of Rome, one of the seven groups promoting the New World Order, says we're going to divide the whole world into ten regions. And Daniel 2.44 says, In the days of these ten kings of these ten regions shall the Lord God of heaven set up his kingdom. That's why we're saying this is the last sign. Now, they were to start with ten nations, and that's Daniel chapter 7, verses 7, 8, 20, 24, Revelation 12, 3, Revelation 13, 1, Revelation 17, verses 3, 7, 12, and 16, and by 1981, they had the ten. But then it would become global because the king of stern continents, and he's the leader of the New World Order, devours the whole world, Daniel 7, 23. He rises in Revelation 13, 1 and has power over all, all kindreds, all tongues, all people, all nations. That includes every one of us. And it's coming and coming very soon. We're living in the last hours and Jesus is coming soon because before it happens, we're gone. I'll keep you out of this mess, God says in Revelation 3.10. Oh, Jack, I love it. You know, people sometimes are saying, it's so scary. The coming of the Lord seems so scary. It's not scary, is it, Jack? This is our blessed hope. I'm not afraid of Jesus coming. Yeah. I wish he'd come today. It'd it's a wonderful. comforting hope for Thessalonians 4.18. Right. Why? We shall see his face. <laughs> Revelation 22.4. If that scares you, something wrong with you. I just want to say, friends, that it looks very, very serious in the Middle East. That's where a big focus is right now. And if our president is trying to produce a Palestinian state, is he going about it the wrong way? Obama promises Arabs Jerusalem will be theirs. And Israeli Prime Minister defiant on Jerusalem. And Obama fails to calm Jewish leaders. All right, why Israel is nervous? Tension is escalating between the United States and Israel. The problem, the administration views the Israeli-Palestinian issue as the root of all problems, while Israel is focused on Iran's nuclear threat. My oh my, this is said by Elliot Abrams. Very serious. And U.S.-Israel divide on Iran nuclear program. Of course they are, because Israel says this. Israel may have to strike Iran. And Netanyahu advisor, now that's his senior advisor, raises mad, mutually assured destruction nuclear scenario. He is saying that this will happen unless something is done. Now my question to Jack is, we saw an awful lot about Jerusalem in the headlines. Why is it so important, Jack? You heard me say earlier in the program that the Jews had no nation for 2,534 years because they were held captive in other countries. Finally, in 1948, they came home and on May 14th of that year, raised the six-pointed star of David, the flag of the Jews, and they called it Israel. But that's not the sign. Daniel 9:24 and Luke 21:24 says that the Jews had to be in control of Jerusalem, and that would be the beginning of the final thing before Messiah comes, before our Christ returns. And lo and behold, it's important for us that the Jews have Jerusalem and we Christians because it's where our Savior is going to sit and their Messiah. So it can't be for the Muslims. And we're not being prejudiced. We're just saying what the Bible teaches us. Now, God says in Psalm 2, verse 6, I'll set my king, and that's the Messiah, upon the holy hill of Jerusalem. And that's when our Christ comes as King of kings and Lord of lords, Revelation 19, 16, to rule and reign for a thousand years, Revelation 20, verse 4. This is where he comes. The Redeemer shall come to Jerusalem, Isaiah 59, verse 20. His feet shall stand upon the Mount of Olives in front of Jerusalem on the east, Zechariah 14, 4. He ascends from heaven to set up his kingdom here at Jerusalem. That's why Zechariah 2, 10 says, Sing and rejoice, O daughters of Zion, for lo, I'll come and dwell in the midst of you in Jerusalem. And of course, when you study all of the other texts, it's Jerusalem repeatedly that belongs to the Jews and belongs to the Christians. And when Gabriel appeared to the Virgin Mary in Luke 1.32, he says, Your son Jesus is going to be great and he'll sit upon the throne of his father David in Jerusalem. And he'll reign over the house of Israel forever and forever. And of his kingdom, there'll be no end. Has that ever happened yet? No. 
along with Isaiah 9, 6, where it says he's going to be reigning here from Jerusalem. It hasn't happened. It's going to happen soon as he comes and sets up that glorious kingdom. And that's why it's going to be called the city of the great king. What? Jerusalem. Matthew 5, 35. Oh, thank you so much, Jack, for all that scripture. We're going to go on. Russia assembling rival to NATO. They want to have a coalition that will rival NATO. And Russia building missiles to counter U.S. space defenses. And Russia won't agree to tougher Iran sanctions. They're buddies. Russia, Iran to hold. There you go. Naval maneuver. Russia and Iran. Yes. And Iran vows to hit Israel's atomic sites if attack. And Iran nuke could wipe Israel off map in seconds. That's what they say. And Iran's greatest global security threat. Now, that is what so many are saying about what's happening in Iran right now. One quick question. Can Russia be trusted, Jack? Oh, Stalin murdered millions of his own people. And then there was Khrushchev. And now Putin, who sat there for an hour and told our president all rotten lies about the United States of America, and he didn't stand up to him. Now, let me tell you something. The Bible, and I've preached this for 50 years, and I haven't had to change one word in my recordings. In Ezekiel 38 and 39, talk about Russia leading the final war. And in verses 1 and 2, it talks about Gog, Magog, Meshach, Tubal, and Rosh, all cities in Russia fighting the battle of the latter years and the latter days, verses 8 and 16. In chapter 39, Yahweh, God says, I'm against you, Gog, the Russian prince of Moscow and Tobolsk. I'll turn you back and leave but the sixth part of the verse 12. Seven months shall the house of Israel be bearing them. And that's when they make the move against Israel. Eighteen times Israel is the battlefield of the world. It's just ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen, if they divide Jerusalem, Joel 3, verse 2. And you find that in Ezekiel 38, verses 8, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, chapter 39, verses 2, 4, twice in 7, 9, 11, 12, 17, 22, 23, 25, 29. And it's a global war with atomic bombs. Psalm 97, 3, Isaiah 66, 15, Ezekiel 20, 47, Joel chapter 2, verses 3 and 30, Zephaniah 1, 18, Malachi 4, 1, Revelation 8, 7, and Revelation 9, 18. I had to get it all in. That's where we are right now. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Psalm 122, 6, because it will affect all of us if we don't have it. Mm. And I love what the Lord said about the time in which we're living. He said it. Let not your heart be troubled. Just talking to a girl today, oh, I'm so scared. Don't be afraid if you're ready for the coming of the Lord, because the Lord said, when you see these things, I'm coming. I'm coming. Are you ready for the coming of the Lord? Oh, Jack, show us how we can be ready. Let not your heart be troubled. Hannity always says that. Yes. I like that. That's John 14, 1. Why? You can be ready. You know, I have the peace of God. I mean, I'm never done. I'm never depressed. Even though I study all these things and read what's coming in the future, I know the end of the story will be with Jesus. When you want to be with him, look at me and pray this. Lord Jesus, precious Jesus, God, second member of the Trinity, the one of the Trinity members who took flesh with blood to die for us. And that blood can wash away my sin today. It's powerful. Lord Jesus, I trust in the merits of that precious shed blood at Calvary wash me today. I receive you as my Savior. Come now into my heart. Pray in your holy name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, I trust that you prayed that prayer. You know, we want peace in the world, don't we? But more importantly, even than that, is having peace in our hearts. If the Lord came in, he brought salvation, forgiveness, peace, joy that you can't have any other way. Please let me know if you did pray the prayer. There's my address. I'll send you absolutely free this little booklet for steps in a new direction. The Lord will walk with you in that new direction. I promise you. And now our offer of the week. Oh, you need to have this. Here is our announcer to tell you how you can receive it. Important that you get it. 
to order your copy of the DVD When Death Was Defeated for a donation of $24.95 or the Jack Van Impe Prophecy Bible with the DVD for a donation of $59.95. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free 24 hours a day, 1-800-JVI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation to Jack Van Impe Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation to Jack Van Impe Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, N9A6Y1. How important it is for you to understand and have this wonderful video. This is good equipment to fight evil, believe me. So make the order, call right away, or write to us. All right, now let me just say, I want to leave you with a very, very, very good thought. To face life's changes, look to the unchanging look forward to being your home again next week and until then remember God cares for you so do we bye bye